Hey, it's Will here, and I want to bring you up to date and talk about what has happened over the last uh, 12 months. Um, um, I guess uh, I'll start by saying uh, this has been a year of blessings. Uh, I thank God for everything that has happened this year, um, getting me through uh, the bad and uh, taking me to uh, the good. So um, I want to start back and um, talk about when I first uh, started to get sick back in uh, January, um, actually late January of 2017. Um, and most, most people know by now that I had a, a pretty big health scare uh, that led to a, a major surgery and um, uh, it pretty much uh, took over my life there for, for a, a lot of this year. So I started the be beginning when I first started getting symptoms uh, that something uh, was was going wrong pretty badly. Uh, and uh, I guess the first thing that I noticed was uh, swelling in my extremities, uh, my ankles, uh, my fingers. Uh, woke up one day uh, and just uh, felt swollen in the ankles. Uh, my fingertips were swollen. I felt like I had the flu. And uh, I thought maybe I had food poisoning or anyway. Uh, long story short, um, these symptoms persisted. I ended up going to my doctor and uh, uh, she did a, a series of tests and uh, couldn't come up with anything conclusive. The uh, symptoms were kind of um, weird, so to speak. And uh, so she proceeded to send me to uh, several specialists. She sent me to a cardiologist to uh, check my heart, obviously. Uh, she sent me to an ENT. Um, uh, she did a panel of uh, blood work. Uh, nothing major showed up. So showed some thyroid issues were going on, uh, but nothing major. Um, and then um, she gave me uh, some uh, rounds of antibiotics, uh, some uh, prednisone. None of that uh, stuff worked for any length of time. So she decided to send me to um, a rheumatologist. And when I went to the rheumatologist, um, uh, they did a series of tests that showed that my body was not using oxygen well, which led to a chest x-ray that showed this huge mass um, on my lower lobe of my right lung. And uh, the doctor who discovered that uh, suggested that it was probably either sarcoidosis or adenocarcinoma. Uh, sarcoidosis is a hardening of, of your tissue um, that um, usually leads to tissue death. And uh, we all know what cancer is. Uh, sarcoidosis is cancer. So anyway, uh, we went through a series of uh, uh, scans, PET scans, um, CAT scans, and those kind of things. Uh, and the took biopsies uh, and the biopsies were inconclusive um, then we got hooked up with a surgeon because we knew whatever it was it had to come out and uh, we met with a surgeon the surgeon was pretty sure that it was uh, adenocarcinoma which was the diagnosis that I lived with for about a month uh, which was very sobering um, so we worked through that whole situation and um, my uh, surgeon uh, decided that um, there was a, probably a zero chance of me going to the CrossFit Games uh, because if this thing was cancer, it had to come out right away. And uh, obviously we'd have the surgery before there were, would um, be time for the CrossFit Games to um, be completed. Uh, in 2017. Yeah, this was in 2017. This was the 2017 CrossFit Games. So, um, he told me there was zero zero percent chance, uh, but it's still at the um, at the same time he wasn't a hundred percent sure that this was uh, uh, lung cancer. So he, um, according to him, met with a, a bunch of other professionals in his uh, circle, and um, they, they couldn't really figure out what this weird thing was. But uh, they kind of started leaning toward the fact that maybe this thing was benign and that maybe they could uh, take it out and um, you know um, remedy this whole situation by removing the thing if it wasn't cancer which meant that uh, taking it out right away uh, wasn't necessarily a priority 
um, his comment to me was, uh, this was in August, was or actually July. He says, well, we, we need to get this thing out, but we can't wait to Christmas. So this was um, about four weeks before the CrossFit Games. He said, okay, um, it's benign. We think maybe it's benign. We're not 100% sure, but we can wait for the CrossFit Games to happen. You can go out there and do the best you can, and uh, we'll take it out uh, three days after you get back. So um, that was what led to my decision to go ahead and do the CrossFit Games in 2017. Um, I had already committed to it. I continued to train just in case there was a chance that I was able to go. So uh, I did do training as best I could. I had the capacity of about a lung and a half. Uh, was really short-winded on just about everything I did. Um, so anyway, we decided to go on to the CrossFit Games and as most of you know, um, uh, I got there and uh, didn't perform very well. Um, I had to be uh, rescued during the swim um, by the uh, staff there. Um, I uh, called for a rescue boat because I didn't feel like I could finish after I had gotten about 100 meters uh, out into the lake. So, um, ended up placing 12th in the CrossFit Games, came back uh, to Greensboro uh, from the CrossFit Games on Monday after the CrossFit Games ended on Sunday. Uh, did my pre-op, went under the knife on Wednesday and had this thing taken out. Um, the surgeon told me at one point that maybe uh, there was a chance that he could go in through a small incision and uh, if he felt comfortable with the way things looked after he got in there that uh, he could uh, liposcopic, laposcopically, I don't know what, whatever it is, uh, I don't know how you pronounce it, but anyway take it out in small pieces by sucking it out uh, and not have to break my ribs but as he got in there he decided that the best way to get rid of this thing was to cut two ribs into take it out uh, in one big piece so uh, anyway uh, got that done and uh, one thing I want to say is that uh, I'm in such a better place right now I, you know I just want to thank God for the blessing of being excited about what comes next right now as opposed to this time last year um, my biggest concern was tomorrow evening will I wake up with one lung or two lungs um, and will this be uh, carcinoma or will it be a benign tumor and we all know the story now it was a benign tumor um, there was no cancer found in it uh, it was just a big tumor that had to come out that had my lung collapse so um, fast forward to this year um, I um, well let's don't fast forward to this year let's talk about what happened uh, right after the surgery about seven weeks passed and uh, I was not able to work out, basically was kind of uh, sitting around, was able to come to work and, and work for a few hours a day. Um, and the, uh, you know, my, as my body started to heal, after about seven and a half weeks, I was free to do some light work. I went out and, and jogged a little bit and did some rubber band work and uh, basically just kind of get my body moving again. By this time, my, I felt like my lung capacity was coming back. I could take deep breaths with no problem. So uh, I guess around October or November, late October, early November, I started back CrossFit training and um, my body started to heal, uh, I think pretty fast. Uh, and um, I decided that I would go back and try to qualify for the CrossFit Games again. So I did and uh, I started the CrossFit Open, uh, I placed 222nd I think in the first workout or 223rd something like that. So, um, my uh, conditioning was just still pretty poor at that time. I had lost a lot of weight. My weight went down to a 30 year low, uh, it was just weak and uh, although I felt like my body was healing the strength was coming back kind of slowly. Uh, the weight, uh, just I couldn't put on weight, it's really hard to gain weight eating good food. Uh, I was eating all the good food I could but just not gaining weight fast enough. But at any rate I kept working, kept working, kept working and as the uh, CrossFit Open uh, progressed uh, I got a little bit stronger each week and by the time the CrossFit Qualifier came, which is the second round of qualifying for the CrossFit Games for Masters and, and Teenagers, um, uh, I could feel my strength coming back. I had started to gain some weight 
and uh, just felt like I, there was a chance I could make a good go of it. And so did the CrossFit qualifier, Masters qualifier, and ended up having a really, really good performance, qualified for the games, and uh, uh, my body just kind of hit a seam and ran, and I started getting stronger and started feeling better, and my cardiovascular conditioning started getting better and better, and uh, I became way more optimistic than before, um, uh, thinking that, okay, maybe I can go and give this a good shot and, you know, maybe have a decent finish. And uh, as it turned out, uh, I continued to get better as the training for the CrossFit Games progressed um, and uh, was able to go to the CrossFit Games. I just got back uh, a couple days ago and had what I think is a stellar performance. Uh, even though I didn't win, I placed third. Um, the swim uh, caused me problems. It's, it's, uh, it was a nemesis before. Uh, and it still is now, even though it's 10 times better than what it used to be. So before, I think I made it 75 to 100 yards out into the lake and called for a boat to come get me. This year, I went all the way around, finished the swim, although I placed last, which pretty much cost me uh, um, any, any chance of, of winning the games. But uh, at any rate, I finished dead last in an event and ended up on the podium, which uh, I feel really, really good about. So. Um, I'm in a good place right now. Um, I mentioned to someone I, th I was talking to today that I am just obnoxiously optimistic about what's going to happen next. I feel really good about my prospects for a full recovery. Uh, I feel really good about um, my, my job. I feel really good about where we're going with the studio and a lot of other things that I'm working on right now. So uh, it's been a tough year, but also it's been a year of blessings. I feel really good about where I am right now and uh, life is good and I thank God for that. But I also want to thank the many, many, many people who gave me words of encouragement throughout this last year, prayed for me, prayed with me, um, and just, uh, ju that's just been an outpouring of support that I just really appreciate so much. Uh, people that bought t-shirts to, to help with fundraisers, uh, people that sent me text messages, uh, called me people that just pass me in the streets say, saying, you know, we've been following your story. It's amazing what you're doing. Those things were just really, really, really motivating to me. And uh, I just um, want everybody to know that me getting to where I am now, uh, I can't take much of the credit for it. I give God credit and I give credit to him for putting the people in my life that helped me, that motivated me, uh, and I thank them as well. So life is good.